Have you ever wondered how human beings in all our complexity came to be? It's a question as old as our species, and the answer lies in the remarkable process of evolution. Evolution is the grand architect of life, a process that has been shaping and reshaping the living world for nearly four billion years. Among the many architects of this theory, one man stands out, Charles Darwin. His groundbreaking theory of natural selection explained how species evolve over time through a process of gradual change. This process began with the simplest of life forms, single-celled organisms, which eventually evolved into the multicellular organisms we see today. The journey from these humble beginnings to the rise of humans as the dominant species on Earth is a testament to the power of evolution. Our species emerged from the same lineage that birthed every creature on this planet. So, the journey of evolution is a long and winding path filled with countless changes and adaptations. Now let's dive deeper into the intriguing story of human evolution. About six million years ago, our earliest ancestors, the hominids, began their long journey towards becoming us, Homo sapiens. The first stage of this journey was marked by the rise of the Australopithecus. These primates were not quite like us yet, but they had a few key features that set them apart from their ape ancestors. Most notably, they began to walk upright, a trait we now call bipedalism. This was a game changer, freeing up their hands to use tools and manipulate their environment in new and innovative ways. As we move forward in time, we encounter Homo habilis, the first species to bear the Homo name. These early humans took tool use to the next level, creating more complex and specialized tools. Their brains were larger than those of the Australopithecus, which allowed for more advanced problem-solving and communication skills. Following Homo habilis came Homo erectus, even more similar to us in appearance, Homo erectus had brains nearly as large as ours, and they were the first to leave Africa, spreading across Asia and Europe. They mastered the use of fire, lived in complex social groups, and may have even developed a rudimentary form of language. Last but not least, we arrive at Homo sapiens, us. With our large brains and complex social structures, we have dominated the planet, changing it in ways no other species has. Our ability to create and use technology has allowed us to adapt to almost every environment on Earth, from the frozen tundra of the Arctic to the scorching deserts of the Sahara. But remember, evolution is not a straight line, and it's not about progress. It's about adaptation and survival. Each of these stages represents a response to the challenges and opportunities of their time and place. And each of them, in their own way, was successful. From walking on all fours to standing upright, the journey of human evolution is truly remarkable. But what about us, the Homo sapiens? How did we come to be? Our story begins approximately 300,000 years ago when the first Homo sapiens appeared on the stage of life. This epic tale unfolds on the vast plains of Africa, the cradle of humanity. Our ancestors, these early Homo sapiens, were not so different from us. They had the same physical attributes, the same capacity for thought and emotion, and the same burning curiosity that drives us even today. Over the millennia, these early humans began to migrate driven by a mixture of curiosity, necessity, and the inexorable push of evolution. They ventured out of Africa, first into Asia and Europe, and then into every corner of the globe. They braved harsh climates, treacherous terrains, and a world full of unknowns. As they journeyed, they encountered other species of humans. The Neanderthals, our closest extinct human relatives, were one such species. Despite their physical strength and adaptability, the Neanderthals eventually succumbed to extinction, leaving Homo sapiens as the sole survivors in the human lineage. We, the Homo sapiens, outlasted all other human species. We survived, adapted, and thrived. We painted on cave walls, tamed fire, and built civilizations. We looked at the stars and wondered, what if? And so, we stand here today, the last of our kind, a testament to millions of years of evolution, but evolution doesn't stop, does it? What does the future hold for human evolution? As we continue to evolve, it's conceivable that factors like genetic engineering and artificial intelligence could play significant roles. Imagine a world where we can manipulate our own genetic code, or where AI merges with our biological bodies. These aren't just science fiction fantasies, but potential realities in the trajectory of human evolution. As we look to the future, one thing is clear. The story of human evolution is far from over.